so I called them and I got a meeting with a doctor tomorrow so I'm going there to check it up and I will bring you guys and we will see what it is so I've been to the gym Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday now of course I can't do so much I have to sit on the bicycle and just you know, trying to get my body moving. I cannot do anything with arms or any other part of my body, just my legs. So, well, hey, I'm gonna have really strong legs after this. It hurts pretty much, but I take tablets that I have to take, otherwise I cannot do anything. But I think it's better that I take that and I go to the gym and I get the body moving, you know, in action so they can heal better. I believe that is the better thing and I feel called to go here. I'm gonna continue so that I can change this body into something strong to be in a line and balance with my inner self. When it comes to my well-being right now, I feel so much better. I had some shadows to work out and I still have some, I'm sure, but I feel so much better. I haven't been sleeping much because I had a lot of pain because of, apparently it is the nerves and everything is connecting with each other now before it was all numb but now everything is connecting so all the pain is coming right now more pain than before but i don't take the strong tablets because i'm getting in my mind with that so i'm not using that um but overall i feel so much better I'm not yet comfortable with this body, but I feel that it's actually a different, even though that I have pain, I can feel and see in my body and face. If you look back and see the before pictures, I can put in one here and I look terrible. It was like I had an allergic reaction or something because I was so swollen and my body was under so much stress and I feel that I have more strength now. I have been waking up in the middle of the night every day and had a few hours that I had to do some work within myself or had some pain in my body. I had to release something. I had to do a meditation or I was shown something. The things that I'm releasing is my low self-love that I used to have that made me do this operation in the first place. As I'm securing myself with people and I feel good like that in myself but the self-love is a different thing it's a really really big difference between confidence and self-love and i have a lot of confidence but i don't have self-love that's what i'm working on right now because i need to love myself and value myself and treat myself the way i treat other people because I'm really, really good at being nice to people, strangers and people around me and taking care and fixing and doing and, you know, go through links to help other people out so they can be happy and feel good and everything. But I forget about myself. So now is the time to take for myself. But I need this time to take care of me and I need to listen to my body, what the body needs. Well, now I'm just doing whatever I can for my body to heal. Now when I worked out a few times, I feel the body is, is getting the circulation that it needs to heal faster. I feel like I'm more awake and I slept better. So it's going in the right direction. And that feels good because the past few weeks after the operation has been so heavy that I didn't see the light in the tunnel. I have a video showing when I, I did shadow work. The secret is to welcome the emotions that is coming up when you are suppressing it then you have to go through it again and again and again and again it's gonna come to you until you see it feel it and heal it release it the thing is that it's no way around the emotion you cannot escape it if you try to escape then it's gonna come to you in another shape or form so when you feel like you want to cry or you want to scream or you want to like in any way express your emotions if you choose to work through it and understand it, then it's processed and it's released and it's not going to come again for you. So if you want, check out that video. It might be really, really helpful for you to see clear shadow work live. It's no act, it's pure and it's actually how I work through my problems. And I'm talking to so you know what I'm working through in my mind in order to release the trauma that I had. 
Also, there's a lot of other methods. Breathwork is like the best ever. I'm a breathwork practitioner. So, and soon I'm gonna do big groups. If you want to join that, let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe. Help me grow so I can do this because I really, really wanna help people get into themselves and release their traumas in order to be completely and fully happy. Even though I'm going through my personal problems, there's, there's different layers of where you can be on frequency level. And mostly I feel really, really good and energized and I enjoy life and I'm really sincerely happy. But sometimes, of course, I have blockages that needs to be released. Everyone has. We're out in a little walk right now, so Lesity can run because I wasn't so active today. And she's going crazy just running around. It's really nice that she's doing that. Um, I had so much pain today that I actually called the doctor because I felt that one of the boobs is really swollen and like really hard. Like the other one is more soft, if I can say that. I have no idea what it is, if it's like blood that is clogged or whatever it is so I called them and I got a meeting with a doctor tomorrow so I'm going there to check it up and I will bring you guys and we will see what it is now I'm at the doctors they're gonna check on me and I had an, a doctor that was gonna check because my doctor did the operation didn't have time until a long time but uh, they told her that I was coming so she's actually taking time to come here which is really nice She's a really, really good doctor. And I'm really, really happy that she's the one that did the operation. I have full like trust in her. But I have really much pain today too. So something is happening in there. So let's see if they can figure out what it is that is causing this pain. Hey, hey. Okay. So apparently I have, uh, it's fluid in these capsules that I have the implants in. I'm gonna be back in a week and I have fever, so if it turns worse, I have to come back straight away. It's always something, huh? And now that I've been there feeling it and it hurts like shit. I really like how professional they are here. Because even though this is happening, I know they are doing everything really, really good. They didn't want to take the fluid out right now because then it can cause an infection. So they're gonna wait with that. And I'm gonna have anti-inflammatory medicine and I don't think it is an inflammation going on right now. But since I have a fever, I really need to be aware on what's going on in my body. She found the time to see me. She was so fully booked. And it hurts so much right now. It's like I feel like I want to puke because they touched it. So as I said, I got the time on Monday. They also said if I get more fever or I see redness or I feel more pain, I need to call a special number. It was a little bit fun because the doctor, she was like, okay, how was everything otherwise? And I was like, it's so much better. Thank you so much for giving me this because it really, really was the problem in my body. And she's like, I can see that. That was really, really nice to get confirmed by someone that saw me then and then now but i hope that i get this solved now because this is the only thing that could be in my mind right now but i'm then i was gonna go to the gym and sit on the bicycle but then i'm not gonna do that since i have the fever and it didn't have anything to do with me going to the gym because i didn't go and i didn't do a hard workout i was just sitting on the bicycle for a few minutes every time just to get the blood going in the body so i think that was only a good thing I think I'm showing a strong face. In reality, I'm like, can this shit not end now? It's always something. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
I'm so tired of this right now. Well, I have an exciting life. Life needs to be excited. It cannot be smooth. It needs to happen things. I need to get experience after experience. Maybe I said I can share it with you guys so you don't do the stupid mistakes that I done to do operations that is not necessary. I'm all for if you have like gigantic boobs and you want to do an operation to make them smaller because you have pain in your body or anything like that. Or if it's like really something that is bothering you in a way that is like making your life really, really hard every single day. But if you don't have any problem, please, people, don't do a stupid operation. Work on your confidence instead. Work on your self-love. Understand that you are beautiful just the way you are. It's not just looks that's been affecting me. It's also that my boobs didn't work to breastfeed my kid. And I felt like a loser mom because of that too. So think a little bit further. Stop before it's too late. Before you ruin yourself.